Hello, good afternoon, dobar dan, dobrodošli u novu video lekciju. U ovoj video lekciji vežba ćemo da pričamo na engleskom. Dakle, hoćemo da što pre postanemo što je moguće tečni i fluentni na engleskom. Hoćemo da što pre počnemo da ne prevodimo u glavi, već da počnemo da razmišljamo na engleskom, da automatski odgovaramo. Tako da, to je sve stvar vežbe. Naravno, danas ćemo vežbati uz pomoć kratkih konverzacijskih rečenica koje pripremam za vas i naravno prevodit ćemo ih na naš jezik i objašnjavat ćemo našem jeziku. Međutim, ono što treba da počnete već da radite jeste da sve ovo slušate, ali samo s objašnjenjima na engleskom i zato sam i napravila drugi kanal gde objašnjavam samo na engleskom. Već je prišao 1300 subscribera, čini mi se, što je vrlo lepo i lepo u tom smislu što vidim da ste prepoznali da vam to treba i što ste prepoznali koliko vam je to važno da polako počete da izbacite vaš maternji jezik. Dakle, ako ste već na nekom srednjem nivou, počnite da slušate objašnjenje na engleskom, počnite da razmišljate na engleskom i polako, mic po mic, se približavate tome da pričate na engleskom automatski i bez razmišljanja. Link za taj moj drugi kanal se nalazi u opisu ispod videa. A sada krećemo s lekcijom. I really can't stand my boss. I really can't stand my boss. Znači, zaista ne mogu da podnesem svog šefa. So, do you like your boss? Not really. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. Znamo naravno da stand znači stajati, je li tako? Ali izraz I can't stand this or that znači ne mogu da podnesem. I don't like him. I can't stand him. I just can't stand this cold weather, I would say, anymore. I just can't stand this hot or this cold. Because I'm cold. Cold weather anymore. Jednostavno ne mogu više da podnesem ovo hladno vreme. I just can't stand, I can't stand this hot or cold weather anymore. Više, anymore. I can't stand it anymore. Do you like cold weather? No, I really don't like it and I can't stand it anymore. Do you have any other questions? Do you have any other questions? Znači, da li imate još neko pitanje? Dakle, obviously, you had some questions and you asked some questions. Znači, očigledno smo da već nešto pitali i onda vas taj neko pita. Do you have any other questions? Imate li još neko pitanje? Any other questions? Yeah, I have a few questions. I have a few questions. So, a few means nekoliko. Nekoliko. I također kad hoćemo da kažemo malo, recimo, bilo je samo malo ljudi, mi kažemo, ne možemo reći there were only a little people. Ne možemo reći a little. Znači, u tom slučaju isto koristimo a few. Just a few people. Nekoliko ljudi. Malo ljudi. Ili just a few books. Malo je knjiga bilo u toj knjižari. Just a few books. Nekoliko knjiga. Znači, malo, odnosno nekoliko za brojeve. Dok za ne brojeve, naravno, kažemo little milk, little sugar, malo mlijeka, malo šećera, tu jeste a little. A kad je malo ljudi, onda su oni a few, nekoliko. So, I have a few questions. I have a few questions. Would it be okay if I asked them? Would it be okay? Would it be okay if I asked them? Znači, u ovom pitanju, da li bi bilo u redu kada bih ja postavio ta pitanja, nam je zapravo trebao drugi kondicional. Znači, if. Would it be okay if I asked these questions? Da li bi bilo u redu ako bih ja postavio ta pitanja? I to je nam vrlo, vrlo kulturan i ljubazan način da pitamo, znači, možemo reći Would it be okay if I opened the window? Would it be okay if I turned on the heater because I'm really cold? Would it be okay? Da li bi bilo u redu if I turned on the heater? 
Can you forgive me? Can you forgive me? Možeš li mi oprostiti? Can you forgive me? I know it's hard, but please try. Pokušaj, try to forgive me. I'll forgive you, but just this once. I'll forgive you, this once. Znači, oprostit ću ti sada, samo sada. I forgot my money. I forgot my money. Forget, zaboraviti. What did you forget this time? What did you forget this time? Što si ovog puta zaboravio? This time I forgot my money, so I can't pay for the dinner. Ne mogu da platim za večeru. I can't pay for the dinner because I forgot my money. And I forgot to call him today. What did you forget? I forgot to call him today. Did you call him today? No, I forgot. And now it's too late. Sad je suviše kasno. He is probably sleeping. Verovatno spava. So it's too late to call him now. I'll call him tomorrow. Poznat ću ga sutra. I'll call him tomorrow. I forgot to lock the door. I forgot to lock the door. Zaboravio sam da zaključam vrat. I forgot to lock the door. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's not important. It's no big deal. I have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. Znači, ovdje smo imali deal kao imenicu. No big deal. Nije bitna stvar, nije ništa bitno. I have to deal with it. To deal with something znači suočiti se s nekim, sa nečim, odnosno izboriti se sa nečim u tom smislu. Znači, Uh, it's easy for you to say you, you don't live with him, but I live with him, so I have to deal with him every day, or I have to deal with his behavior every day. Znači, lako je za tebe da kažeš, ali ti ne moraš tim da se boriš svaki dan. You, you don't have to deal with it every day, and I have to deal with it every day. So to deal with something. He felt in no condition to deal with this. He felt in no condition to deal with this, so nije se osjećao u stanju da može da se nosi sa tom nekom situacijom, sa tim nekim problemom. He was in no condition to deal with this problem. He felt in no condition to deal with this. Watch out when you cross the street. Watch out, pazi, watch out when you cross the street, kada prelaziš ulicu. Znači, cross je glagol, a često se pomeša sa across. Across znači preko, to je prilog. Across je glagol. So, I go across the street. Idem preko ulice ili I cross the street. Prelazim ulicu. Hold on tight. Drž se čvrsto. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I would like... I would like to ask you a favor. I would like to ask you a favor. Can I ask you a favor? Can I ask you a favor? What was your previous answer? Can I ask you a favor? What was your previous job? So if you, uh, you have a job interview and the interviewer can ask you, what was your previous job? Where did you work before? Gde si radio pre? Ko je bio tvoj prethodni posao? What was your previous job? The girl has previous experience of working in a house. Ovo iz knjige, ja mislim, gde pričaju o nekim malo prošlim vremenima, u stvari nisu prošle, ali se radi o nekoj kućnoj posluzi. Ima i sada kućne posluge, zar ne? A ovde kaže da je ta devojka ima već iskustva radile u tim velikim kućama. Bogatih ljudi. So he, she has previous experience. Ima prethodno iskustvo. She has previous experience of working in a house. Is it okay with you? So I will turn off the lights. Is it okay with you? I will go out now. Is it okay with you? Znači to u redu s tobom. Jesi ti slažeš? 
I turned right. Where did you turn? Right or left? I turned right. Skrenuo sam desno. I turned right. He can't control his anger. What's wrong with her, with him? Or, kao smo rekli u prvoj rečenici, as we said, uh, I can't stand my boss. I can't stand him. Why? Because he can't control his anger. Jer ne može da kontroliše svoj bes. He can't control his anger and that's why I can't stand him. Banks open at 9 o'clock. Banki se otvaraju u 9. What time do banks open? Znači ovo je množina. Do. What time do banks open? The banks open at 9. It's near the supermarket. It's near the supermarket. So where is the bank? It's near the supermarket. Where is the pharmacy? It's near or it's right next to the supermarket. Keep in touch. Okay, see you soon and keep it in touch. Znači, ostanimo u kontaktu. Keep in touch. She stays in touch with him. So, for example, they went to school together and after that she stayed in touch with him. Znači, ostale u kontaktu sa njim. Ili ovo je present. She stays. Znači, ona i dalje ostaje u kontaktu sa njim. She stays in touch with him. I think he is a good choice. For example, for that job. Ja mislim da je on dobar izbor. Choice je izbor. Choose je izabrati. Prošlo vreme chose. Choose, chose. Choose, chose. To je glagol. A choice je imenica izbor. I think he is a good choice for her. Recimo, on je dobar izbor za nju. Ili I think he is a good choice for the job. Dobar za taj posao. She has never visited him before. She has never visited him before. So, it's the first time she has visited him. To je prvi put da ga ona posjetila. Ona ga ranije nikada nije posjećivala. She has never visited him before. Do it by yourself. Uradi sam. I don't want to do it for you. I don't want to do it for you. Do it by yourself. There is no smoke without fire. Mi kažemo gde ima dima, ima i vatre. A ovdje piše bukvalno, nema dima bez vatre. There is no smoke without fire. She kissed him. She kissed him on the cheek. U obraz, on the cheek. Poljubila ga u obraz. I found that film stupid. I found that film stupid. So here found, find, naći. Ja sam našao taj film glup. Naći u smislu, I... I thought that the film was stupid. So, in my opinion, that film was stupid. Znači, po mojom mišljenju, taj film je glup. Znači, smatram, mislim da je taj film glup. U prošlosti smatrao sam, mislio sam da je film glup. I found the film stupid. He has a good pronunciation. Pronunciation. Ima dobar izgovor. He has a good pronunciation. My father is in his 50s. In his 50s. Znači, bukvalno u svojim 50-im. How old is your father? He is in his 50s, in his 60s, and in his 70s right now. My father is in his 70s. Please give me a cup of coffee. Molim te daj mi šolju kafe. Please give me a cup of coffee. She treated him very well. She treated him well, very well. To treat somebody, obhoditi se prema nekome, uh, ona se obhodila prema njemu veoma dobro. Znači, she helped him, she cooked for him, she washed his clothes, she loved him, she treated him very well. And uh, she <laughs> asked him to marry her. Na kraju, pitala ga da se... Oženi za nju. Znači, she proposed to him. To propose to somebody, znači zaprositi. So she proposed to him. She asked him to marry her. My shoelaces came undone. Petle se odvezale. My shoelaces came undone. Undone, znači da su 
odvezan, jel je otkopčan, andan. Like father, like son, kakav otac, takav sin. Like father, like son. I've never been this happy before. So now I'm really, really happy. Have you ever been happy before? No. Nikada nisam bio tako srećan. I have never been. Present perfect. I have never been this happy before. I've never played chess before. Nikada rani nisam igrao šah. I've never played chess before. I started the car. Znači, okrenuo sam ključ. In the ignition. I I started the car. Upalio sam auto. I appreciate your compliment. I appreciate your compliment. Znači, cenim tvoj kompliment. To appreciate, ceniti. I appreciate your help. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Žao mi što to čujem. You're not feeling well. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Žao mi što čujem da nisi dobro. I'm sorry to hear that. That's too much. To je previše. Even that is too much. Čak i to je previše. So I want to give you an award. Nagradu. I'll give you 100 euros. No, no, no. That's too much. Okay, I'll give you 80 euros. No, no, no. Even that is too much. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Drago mi što to čujem. I'm glad to hear that. That's stupid. To je glupo. That's stupid. Don't blame yourself. Nemoj kriviti sebe. Don't blame yourself. So to blame je kriviti. Blame je krivica. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Nije tvoja krivica. Don't blame yourself. Use the gun if you need to. Iskoristi pišu da se odbraniš. Use the gun to defend yourself. Use the gun. Koristi pištolj to defend yourself. Ne daj Bože. Okay, see you next time, bye.